Hello there, and welcome to another edition of iWeek. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2013, and today is the Nintendo edition of the podcast. I'm also going to be covering some iTunes uh, releases today, as I uh, missed out on the, the show that covered all that stuff. So let's get into, first, the iTunes stuff. So in a little bit, we'll get to Nintendo stuff, lots of stuff to talk about there. But for now, let's get into uh, iTunes. First off, Richard Linklater Movies, the director of the uh, new Great Gatsby movie, has movies on sale, 10 bucks in HD. Identity Thief is available in HD for 15 bucks. Um, Hansel and Gretel is out early from the Blu-ray release, and it's 15 bucks as well. Uh, curiously, there is going to be a new cut of that coming out in just a few weeks, so I'm not sure what the differences are. But uh, worth of note, anyways. Uh, this week, curiously, we have two ninety-nine cent uh, rental movies. We have Co- Cosmo Police, Polis, and we also have An Inconvenient Truth. Both of those are available for ninety-nine cents. Uh, for the big sales this week, the things that I would really look out for if you're looking to buy some stuff, uh, The Hangover has a bundle, both movies. Uh, Hangover one and two for seventeen bucks in HD or in SD. So uh, seventeen bucks for HD versions of the Hangover. These are normally twenty bucks a piece if memory serves correctly. So this is a heck of a deal to get you ready for Hangover three, which is coming out very soon. Uh, Fast and Furious films ten bucks a piece in HD, and you're able to pre-order Spring Breakers in HD for $12.99. This is a great film, a bit of an odd film, but a really good one. Uh, there's romance movies in iTunes, 10 bucks in HD. Lots of great ones to choose from. I'm not going to list them all off there, uh, but those are now uh, on sale. So that's what's really going on in iTunes this week. Uh, actually, there's a third <laughs> 99 cent rental, only the young. So lots of cheap rentals, lots of great movies on sale, and uh, finally, of note, War of the Worlds by Steven Spielberg, the 2005 release, is finally out in iTunes. So this is one of Spielberg's uh, movies, his recent sci-fi movies, that has not, for whatever been reason, been on iTunes, but finally is. It's 17 bucks in HD, I believe, uh, 10 bucks in SD. I'm not sure on the SD price, but definitely, if you're a Spielberg fan, go out to pick that one up and fill in your iTunes gap there. Now let's go into Nintendo news. So, um, gaming. Lots of stuff going on in the gaming world as Xbox One just got announced. That's uh, one, not the number one, but spelled out O-N-E. So that has been announced. And some initial thoughts about this new Xbox. Uh, once again, no backwards compatibility because it's built on a whole new architecture just like the PS4 is. Um, which it will be a challenge for, I think, uh, the beginning when games... There's not hundreds of games like you have with Xbox 360, but um, for what they're doing, I think it's appropriate. Uh, overall, it seems like they're trying to... The one stands for basically being your one device for everything. I'm not sure if they'll succeed here. They're making people... They're going to allow people to use HDMI input into the Xbox to actually view and control your cable box through it, kind of like how Google TV does it. Um, they're also integrating Connect in a big way where you're able to say Xbox on, and it turns on. You're able to say Xbox, play, you know, Halo, Xbox, watch, uh, you know, the new James Bond movie. And I just see in a family room environment people saying Xbox, Xbox, and fighting over what they're wanting to do. And it's the the next generation of fighting over the remote control with your voice. And I think in the end, Dad will just say Xbox off. I think that could be something that happens. Uh, The naming is really interesting here. Um, The design of the box very much looks like a Nintendo Entertainment System, but really big, really black, and modernized. It has kind of the vents on one side. It, It really does look like that. A lot of people have also commented it looks like a VHS tape player it's it's not a, i don't like the design really a bunch it seems huge this thing seems like a huge tower pc but um just on its side sort of so um cool stuff i mean it's kind of interesting stuff they had uh as far as that that they actually showed the box controller is a modified xbox 360 controller more ergonomic it's got rumble in the trigger buttons which is kind of interesting and uh, as far as games, Electronic Arts, my least favorite studio of all, 
as having some sports games come out, non-surprisingly. Uh, Xbox is actually uh, working with Steven Spielberg to release some Halo TV uh, series just for Xbox users. And um, lots of other things going on there. But um, broad strokes are, I'm not entirely enthused about this device. Um, I am a Nintendo fan, as you know. But I was hoping I might really get excited about this. I, I don't think I am. I really don't. Um, games in HD look great. Games in Super HD look even better. The, these are really great looking games. But... I, 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 that's not what I care about in a gaming experience. I, I want unique, um, delightful experiences that I don't care if you put me inside of a live action movie with me running around inside of it. That's not what I want for a gaming experience. So both the PS4 and the Xbox One don't really interest me that much as of yet. Um, of the two, I'm not sure which I like better or worse. I think it's too early to tell at this point. Um, but with that said... Uh, let's get on to uh, Nintendo news. I, I'll probably have more to talk about it next week as more details come out about it. So Nintendo news. Uh, lots of stuff going on. There was a system update to the Wii U just yesterday that made it even faster and more reliable. Um, lots of uh, new releases actually coming out for Wii U fairly soon and some already out. Resident Evil Revelations is now out. Uh, Donkey Kong for 3DS, Donkey Kong Country Returns for 3DS is coming out very soon, as well as Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Ages is coming out five bucks a piece uh, in May 30th. So lots of lots of releases coming out very soon for the modern the Nintendo system is basically, and um, I'm excited for a lot of these games coming out. It's it's, it's gonna be a fun time. Uh, they had a Nintendo Direct recently where Sega became an official partner, and there's going to be some awesome Sega games coming out from, Ninten from Nintendo or for Nintendo systems exclusively. And that's an exciting thing because Nintendo has, or Sega has some great properties, and I'm excited to see what they do with that. Um, before we move on with any more news from Nintendo, I just want to talk about The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is a first for me. I actually have never played a 3D Zelda game before um, last month. I started playing uh, Ocarina of Time on my 3DS, and I started this on April 26th, 2013, and finished it just today, May 22nd, 2013. So a little bit under a month it took me to do this. Um, according to my stats, it took me 22 plays, uh, 30 hours, 56 minutes to get through all of Ocarina of Time. And this is now my most played game on my 3DS. And it was a blast playing through this. I have not had such a delightful gaming experience in in a while. This was so much fun. The original Zelda, I might have to go through again. I didn't like it much as a kid. I went through, you know, killing things with my sword. But I really did. I, I thought it was a hard game and couldn't really get through it. Ocarina of Time, it was difficult at times, but after playing through this, this, this was just a, a great game. I'm looking forward to playing it again. Um, I won't be doing that for a while as I'm going to be going through all the other uh, 3D Zeldas, uh, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, and going through just uh, going through all of them. So it'll be a while before I'm, I'm done with those, but uh, it's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, Zelda is a franchise I've always like liked the music of. I always liked what it's about, but I've never understood how to play the games. It always felt too uh, perplexing to me, and it's it's good to finally get this one under my belt and uh, feel comfortable moving forward. And Majora's Mask, I hear, is a unique one to say the least. So I'm curious how that will go for me. I got picked the the N64 cartridge up, so I'm all ready to go with that. And um, we'll be starting that in a few days, most likely here. Uh, speaking of N64, I recently decided to make a, a goal to collect all 300 or whatever N64 games. That It's amazing to me that there were only around 300 N64 games. Because at the time, when I was that young, it felt like there's endless games for the system. But in the end there were a little bit less than 300 games released for the N64. That is, I believe, the smallest of any major console, that there's less than 300 games released for a system. That seems crazy to me, and 
to me, it was a really successful system. I had such a good time with it, spent countless hours doing four-player mode of Mario Party of GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, and we got a lot of use out of the system when I was younger. So I recently picked up an N64 and discovered this fact that there's so few games and looked at the, the re- resell price of many of these games. Uh, you're able to pick them up for 10 bucks or less, 5 bucks or less. I got a couple for 2 bucks. So I'm filling in, I'm basically going through and collecting all the games. And one thing I wanted to share is I recently got in these labels, these stickers on eBay. So uh, there's a guy that makes these, sells them for 40 bucks uh, for the complete set of N64 games. They own the top of the cartridge. So when you open your drawer of N64 games, you can actually see what game's what and... It's not just a bunch of, uh, you know, gray cartridges staring back up at you. You actually have labels that tell you what it is and look pretty good that match the the cover art on the front. Now I'm not able to get it perfectly lined up with each other, but that's okay. It looks really good in the in inside of uh, my drawer with all the the cartridges, and this is something that I'm really jazzed for because. It always perplexed me that the only way to identify a game is from the front. Why the heck did Nintendo choose to do that is beyond me. Why didn't they have the sticker extend uh, over and across, as I think would have been helpful for people that want to buy cartridges? Um, after all, the the boxes they came with were mostly disposable for most people. They just throw away the boxes. How the heck are you supposed to organize your your games without some sort of label or something like that? I've seen people sell universal game kits where they print out artwork. But I think the labeling system works uh, better for me, and I'm quite happy with this uh, set. So if you look for these on eBay, 40 bucks and 64 labels. I'm pretty happy with these and will be applying them to all my games as I get them. So uh, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, next up on my playlist, I think, for my 3DS will be Kid Icarus. Um, that's what I popped in my cartridge now. But also looking at picking up New Super Mario Brothers uh, U. Uh, or not U, but New Super Mario Brothers 2. Uh, Target is actually running a sale on this game. 10 bucks off, so it's 30 bucks now. And I'm going to try the price matching thing at Best Buy to get it there. About 30 bucks, and Mario games don't often go on sale. So if you are looking to pick that up, Target has it on sale for $30. So quite a steal there. And a lot of other sales going on at Target, uh, including, if you're looking to get a Wii U, a really great time for that because the basic set is on sale for 60 bucks off. So that would be 300 minus 60 at 240 I believe. So that's a really great deal for a Wii U basic set. If you don't care about black or white, great deal to get this. Um, your internal storage, I'd recommend just using it for virtual console titles and getting hard drive for all the big downloads. But um, a really great deal at Target going on until June 1st. So I would rush and get that if you're looking to get a Wii U on sale. So. I think that will wrap us up for today. Um, thanks for tuning into today's episode of I Wake. Tomorrow is the International Film Club, so you can check that out over at International Film Club Podcast dot com, I believe, or just Google for that. You'll find us, and I will talk to everyone again on Monday for another edition of I Wake. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Oh, with that said, Memorial Day weekend, I'm not sure if there'll be a show Monday. Um, If there isn't, I'll talk to everyone again on Tuesday then. So have a great one. I'll talk to everyone again real soon. Bye-bye.